up everyone and welcome to a new brand new era of Schneike's Universe Mode. Yes, you're looking at the screen. I got our Extreme Rules map between Chris Jericho and Cactus Jack. Why? Because Chris Jericho cashed in his money in the bank briefcase at Judgment Day. And he judged it to be ruled that he will be the champion. And he was, in fact, the champion. He left beating Cactus Jack uh, in the middle of the ring. And he defeated him to become the new Undisputed Champion. And as a fighting champion always does, he uh, he has to abide to the to the rematch clause. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now. We got a rematch between Cactus Jack and Y2J, the champion, coming out first. Let's see him with his gold belt. Yeah! And this is an Extreme Rules match because uh, as I guess it was in the contract that Cactus Jack put together. Oh, look at that belt! It looks so pretty. It looks so pretty on him. That was great. Got a lot of wrestling to do. A lot of talking. And here is the former champion. The challenger. The soon to be loser. Cactus Jack. Bang, bang. Where's your teeth, boy? Anyways. So, uh, yeah. What a judgment day it was. We have a lot of new champions. We have a new Undisputed Champion. We have a new European Champion. Uh, Punk took that from Barrett. But uh, Barrett and Sheamus... Oh, why, why are you looking at that? Barrett, Barrett and Sheamus took the tag titles. And uh, also the tag titles on Raw switched as well. Oh, dropkick right off the bat! Uh, attack! Uh. Come on! And hopefully I can pull off, but I got a new surprise. Well, it won't be much of a surprise. You guys know I was waiting for it. I was waiting forever for the move pack. DLC number three. Oh, my God. DL three, <laughs> DLC number three came out, and I was super duper, duper, duper excited for that uh, move pack to come along with it. All the, the wrestlers are amazing. Move pack was pretty sweet. We got some crazy moves. Only thing I could have asked for, because I did not like, was, uh, believe it or not, the lion salt. Oh my god, I was waiting forever for that darn Lion Schultz. And what ends up happening is they give some, like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I think that Lion Salt was half-assed. Drink. Spit! Oh! Oh, and he smacks him with a cup. Oh, the disrespect. And that cup's still there. Can I pick it up again? Oh, pick up the cup. Hey! But, um, yeah. So, I was not happy with this Lion Salt. It's like... If you look at it in the uh, uh, just in the um, you know move set you know between dummy A and WB, it it looks like it's all jacked up. Like the guy's sitting centered in the ring, and Jericho, whoever you you put it on, he'd like go to the corner because apparently it's like a head move, and he goes to the corner and, and jumps off the corner rope and has to like go diagonal, and then he lands, and it's not it, there's like no attitude when he lands you know how you kind of like he, he would hit Jericho in past games would like hit the body and then kind of wave his arms to the side as if he took a, a hit and he just goes ragdoll for a second but nothing it just seems like a normal cheap hit it just looks so bad oh oh four boom I don't know I was just I pissed I was so pissed off of that I even I even tweeted it that it was like a disappointment disappointment yes I used a Twitter I used a Twitter for something Aside from nothing, <laughs> like honestly, I'm I'm new to the Twitter thing, so I don't use it that often, and I have to log in with a computer. I don't have a phone, so it seems not as exciting for me. But uh, oh god, no! Urgh, get off of me! But uh, no, no, I you know I I just don't like it. That move, it just looks it's it's great that it has it, so I'll keep it. And I'm uber excited about the. Oh, what a drop kick from the top rope to the floor! And I, I have his uh, uh, triangle drop kick, which was awesome. Attack! Now I'm just trying to remember if I, if I put the line salt as a signature move or <laughs> finisher. Oh, to the head again! I no, I think it's a finisher. I think I have um, one more time. Why not? Yeah, so I still have the power bombs as a signature. 
I have the Injiguri as oh into the face. Speaking of which, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get. Let's show the people what they want to see. Get in this ring. All right, let's do this. So yeah, who who else has the DLC? What do you? Ow! What do you guys like about it? What do you guys don't like about it? Let me hear. Let's complain to THQ. <laughs> For, for all the bad things. Not, don't complain about the good things if you liked it. What I always thought was funny is um, they planned that DLC from like day one. Hell, they probably planned it even way in advance. Probably last summer. Which I don't mind. You know, obviously games all do that. But uh, I, I really think for like a sports game, like wrestling game, should you should have a little bit more space. Maybe see who's big, who's not big. You can then decide. I know it takes forever to make a, a character model, but like let's like Shield came in recently, and they're you know taking the WWE by storm. And they got an amazing TLC uh, match, that three on three. It, it was it was a great match. You know, to, it, it would have been awesome to have the Shield in there with the Ryback, you know, pack and everything. So, why jump the gun by having, like, like, who, oh, Chainsaw Charlie, like, I don't, I know you want to have, uh, um, Mick Foley and, and, and what's his face, what's the guy, uh, Terry Funk, you know, like, in the same game, especially if it's about the Attitude Era, I understand that, but I'd really rather see, see like, one member of the Shield before seeing Chainsaw Charlie. In all honesty, a ladder? When was the last time you climbed the ladder voluntarily? Alright, let's do it. Nope. You. You dirty rat. Anyways, come on. So yeah, I, I always thought it was weird because they they always done it like that. Like we have all the DLCs planned out and they're be, you know, they're coming. Look, we're already in January. If they would have put some more time in between the DLCs, you could probably flesh this game out and give it more shelf life until, I don't know, May, for all you know, March. Oh, no! Come on, I want to hit you! Oh, he has a finisher, too. I gotta remember that. Here we go. What are you gonna do now? Oh, suplex! Under the ladder! Ladder suplex! Ladder plex! Up! Uh, oh! Got his cankles. Come on, come on, come on! No! Oh, insecurity! Nice. And then now what? Here we go, here we go. Look. This guy's like diagonal. I don't like it. It's not. Here, let's do it one more time for for the other people at home who couldn't see from that angle. Here we go. This is well. That was a little better, but still, it's not my one. Two, three. Ah, 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 the champion. I am champion again. Well, still. Haha. <laughs> Successfully retained. Well, I guess that disproves any disbelievers. I am the rightful champion. Money in the bank, briefcase or not. But, um. Oh, what a kick. Here we go, here we go. Let's see where this goes. It's like. See, there's kind of like that little twitch. As he hits the rope, he goes like sideways for a second. And I know, you know, you can't exactly put Jericho's track on a straight edge, you know. He isn't perfect every time, but in the past games, it was perfect. It was like a side move, and it just, uh, skip this. It was just perfect. Whatever. Anyways, we're moving on. We're moving on. All right, to do a little, a little something different here, uh, I want to continue playing with, with badass Billy Gunn. And um, and apparently they set this up a, a road dog versus British bulldog. Wait a second, I think they were watching my uh, WWE Zoo videos. Anyways, um, so I figured, uh, oh god, why not play this match? Cause those two are a team. I think I thought I broke them up, but whatever, they could still be a team. What's going on here? What? Oh come on! I specifically played this. To see badass Billy Gunn, and you gotta kick him out. Anywho, well, at least I got a story out of it. So I figured, yeah, I, I'll, I'll continue playing with Mr. Gunn, and they put him up. A um, little New Age Outlaws versus uh, what do we call the, the British Cold? 
stone dogs, I don't know, stone bulldogs. Yeah, the stone bulldogs versus the new age outlaws. Oh god, I'm getting my ass handed me. And so I let this happen. Um, hey, get off. Ah. Woo. Oh, what? And maybe we could even uh, eventually get a title shot. Tag title shot for these guys, because apparently Intercontinental wasn't not in the cards for Mr. Ass. But if Road Dog can hold his own against the former champ, so I'm guessing this is somewhere down the line that's going to determine number one contendership. And we'll see where it goes from there. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, shoulder block. Suck it. There you go. Come back here. Samoa drop. Speaking about Samoans. Usos look pretty sweet. Getting uh, both types of entrances, the one before and after their uh, like you know tribal stuff. So you can have like normal entrance and then then their uh, little stage performance up there entrance. That's kind of cool. With actual grunts and yells. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. I haven't actually played. Whoop. Oh god. I haven't actually played with them. I played. Uh, <laughs> I put them in the ring as my opponents when I was just messing around. So I, uh, so I hope uh, Universe Mode to set them up together. That'd be cool. And oh, got him this time. And I played with Chainsaw Charlie though. That was uh, interesting. Like I said before, I don't think he's oh disrespectful. I don't think he was a, uh, you know, he's not a deal maker or a deal breaker for me. I really don't know why they chose him of all people to put him in the game. But they did. They did. It, oh, yeah, point down. Oh, oh, shaky knee, shaky knee. Oh, boom. We got some sort of dancing out of this. Suck it. And here we go. Pump down a slam. We're ending this one early. Oh, booyah. we pull him out here so he don't rope break. One. Oh my goodness gracious. That's not good. Not yet at all. What are you rolling me? It's not an infernal match. Successfully attempted and won my first infernal match at uh, Judgment Day. Hope everybody was watching that one and enjoyed it. Get back here. Hey, God. God. We're dancing together now. Isn't that, wasn't that fun? I think that was fun. What? Snap suplex. Step on your face. I stepped in dog poop before I came out here. I hope you enjoyed that. That's some road dog poop on my shoe. Do you smell it? Smell the road dog poop. Ah, crap. Thumbs up for Road Dog Poop. Oh, God. Give me a like for all those people. Well, you know what? <laughs> it just popped in my head. I think the rock rock bottomed uh, uh, British Bulldog wants onto poop, which is kind of funny. So, uh, it's not the first time you had poop all over. Oh, that's bloody poop. Oh, my God. X. Oh, no. I ate all that. Okay, get you in the corner. Thank you. Let's go for a superplex. Or whatever you do. What do you do? What is this? Oh, he just mocks him. That's, that's pretty much his move, right? Some shaky fists, right? Boom. Boom. Shaky, shaky. Boom. Shake. Rattle. Roll. Suck a punch. All right. All right. Look at that. I'm just walking around. Suck it. What's going to happen now? Another pump handle. Drop. Like it's hot. One, two, three. That's poop in your face. That <laughs> British Bulldogs. Yeah, right. And that's without my moral support. My man, I dedicate this one to you. Mr. Ass. <laughs> Next week, I'll put your poop in his face instead of road dog poop in his face. That's what I do to my opponents. I, I crap 
I step in the crack, and then I rub it in their face. I'm a class act, by the way. I have not noticed. Oh, I barely have the energy to stand. Oh my goodness gracious. He took me to the limits. Ah, I'm joking. Anywho, exit this. Let's go on to the next one. All right, we've arrived at the SmackDown edition of our universe mode. Uh, side note, I am considering cutting out the NXT and Superstars. Well, with the, these super shows combined, it's, it drags on a little bit too long anyways. And uh, besides, universe mode here hooked us up with this nice match. It's non-title, but it is former champions of the awesome ones versus the current champions. And I was... Um, I was uh, Sheamus last time, so I'm gonna be Wade Barrett this time. Yeah. Oh, mama! Come on! Don't let him do that to you. What? So uh, that was a pretty uh, intense match back at Judgment Day between these guys. It was um quite awesome uh, yeah come on come on Jameis there you go there you go that's what I'm talking about yeah taunt I yeah, do it come here ref ah pull down the what am I doing what can I, what can I do nothing just standing here waiting whoopsie daisy So I wanted to bring something up recently. I've uh, I mentioned in a video that I heard rumors because uh, I read an article saying they won't be WWE won't be doing spring cleaning, and I guess that article uh, mis took some rumors because uh, apparently they've started. Trent Beretta is gone. He's been uh, a future endeavor against I guess. Um, well, he they, so they let Trent Beretta go. They let. Uh, I, I forget her name, but she was uh, some diva in the developmental territory. Let her go as well. Um, and then, I don't know if it's related, but Bill DeMont. Um, yeah, Bill DeMont uh, and was replaced as NXT head trainer. Replaced with Billy Gunn, so I don't know if that's a Triple H um, enforcing his will type thing. But, uh, you know, Bill DeMont has stories of him being a douchebag and bully to a lot of the <laughs> competitors and, 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 and trainees there and stuff of like that. So, you know, it's kind of, it might have been inevitable. Uh, I'll break you up. Come on. Eh, eh, tech move. All right, all right. One. Boom. Two. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Anyway, so yeah. So we got the, we got the spring cleaning maybe a little bit early. It's usually around WrestleMania season. I don't, I don't know how often they do it before the Royal Rumble, but uh, what do you know? It's before the Royal Rumble. And uh, Trent Beretta is gone. And that's actually, I don't know, kind of sad because I, I don't watch too much of, of him with the sub shows that he might have been on. And Wait, what? No, come on. Why would I want to be always the guy on the apron? That's ridiculous. But, um, you know, from what I remember of the Dude Busters, uh, even though they're, they're long gone, I was kind of, I kind of enjoyed him. That gimmick seemed destined to fail, but uh, but those guys didn't look too bad in the ring. Um, you know, but what can I say? You, you got put down and on the lower low card, not even mid card, and where do you go from there? Sometimes, you know, there's a lot of guys there that you think are just won't be able to see the light of day and. Some you think that would, but apparently, <laughs> you know, Trent Beretta, who I thought might eventually come out of there, hasn't. Sad but true. Uh, now everybody's like wondering who's going to be next. Uh, some saying like the likes of Yoshi Tatsu or someone. I don't know, because again, he's in that area, that low. Not it's not even a mid card anymore. Get off the! Oh God, what? I was supposed to hit Miz. Get off the! Hit Miz! But not just... Oh, great, you idiot. Yeah, I heard, like, people saying, is it going to be Yoshi Tattoos next? And I don't know what else. And But I don't think so, because uh, WWE likes to have the connections to certain countries. And uh, there's not a lot of Japanese on the roster. They're not going to... Oh, ow! 
I just ran over that chair. Here we go. There we go. And there we go. Cheerio. Ha <laughs> ha. Because I'm English. Oh, what a belly belly. Anyway, so I don't think Yoshi Tatsu is going anywhere. Just because they need that connection to Japan. And, and Tensai, even though he's he's been working in Japan for the last few years, isn't really Japanese enough. <laughs> Still a train in everybody's books, right? Or Albert, <laughs> as the chants go. But, um... Oh, socks him. But, um... Yeah, I'm wondering, like, who's the next Who's the next guy? So, it's, it, it's not the Japanese guys. Um, you know, it won't be Great Kali and... and, and what's the other guy? Jinder Mahal, because they got the Indian, you know, connection there. India, you know, all being huge wrestling fans and a lot of people over there. So you won't see them probably go. Who else? I'm thinking, like, the guys that Vince wanted to be pushed but really proved that they had no business in the ring at the moment. Uh, Mason Ryan. Even though I forget what country he's from, I just don't think there's a big enough demand probably in that country. That's why you haven't seen him, really. Um, I hate to say, like, Big Zeke, Ezekiel Jackson probably won't. Oh, got him, finally. Big Zeke probably is going to, I don't know. Like, some of these guys have been you know, probably on the injured list or something. But Big Zeke had that intercontinental push. And then everybody realized, yeah, he, no. <laughs> so they just quickly gave it to Cody Rhodes, if I remember correctly. So I just don't think, you know, those guys are going to survive this. I'd be surprised, though, you know, if they go with someone else first. Like, JTG might go just because of his outspoken Twitter rant thing that he did. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the, whatchamacallit, the mid-carters are, were, that were disappointed in 2012, you know, spoke up a little bit here and there. Not, not too much. It wasn't like a revolt or anything. But, uh, you know, JTG did his thing and got a lot of attention and then and got a bunch of pink eye to boot when they put him up against Ryback. That was your punishment. Take this pink eye. Um, but then uh, blah, 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 blah. Zack Ryder always kind of expresses his disappointment in one way or another through his YouTube show. But uh, I would be surprised if they got rid of him per se just because it's you know he's a YouTube guy. He markets himself. Alright, alright. I'm Barrett. I'm trying to stick with Barrett. You know you know what? Screw this. I'm not sticking with Barrett. Make this match go faster. So I don't think they'll get rid of Zack Ryder. But maybe someone else who's complained complained in the past. I don't know. Urgh. Get off of me. Get off of me. I am your tag team champion. Who Am I in control? Am I in control of him? What am I in control of? There we go. Why did it turn off? Do I got an option of not controlling anybody? That's ridiculous. I don't know about like Justin Gabriel. He probably no. He's like he has a South African connection. See, it's all about oh god, it's all about the connections. It's all about where you're from. Uh, Trent Beretta, where is he from? Like somewhere in the U.S. You know, I don't know. Some people are thinking Tyson Kidd, but I don't. I doubt it because Tyson Kidd. Worked with like so many injuries that uh, why would you get rid of that? Why would you get rid of someone who's gonna like? Yeah, I broke my. He had like ACL problems or some something. I don't know. It was some crazy, crazy thing like that. And then he he need he needs surgery obviously now, so he's gonna be out for almost a year. And he still worked with all his injuries, so I don't think they want to get rid of someone who's willing to do that with a smile on their face. Like uh, what what. Uh, the heart that he teamed up with Davy Hart Smith Jr. He wouldn't have done that. He was miserable at full health. So why why the heck would he have done that otherwise? He probably would have took an opportunity to, to get off out of, out of the road. You know, off the road, sorry. So he probably, you know, would have been gone if this, if this was him in the situation. But uh, I think they're going to keep Kid. I think they're going to keep who's another one? Evan Bourne, actually. I'm surprised they kept him. In all honesty, from behind. Uh, from behind and German, like that guy, 
first of all, he was the he was him in uh, the our truth. Oop, headbutt. <laughs> Were the ones caught smoking the joint that got him suspended, and then he got injured. I, not like it was his fault. I think it was a car accident. But you just gotta imagine that somebody doesn't take care of himself that much. Why would WWE want him around? And let's just do a finisher real quick. I don't think it'll beat him, but whatever. Ah, well, ha, ha, ha. One, two, and I don't want to beat him yet. That's a mistake on my part. I know it. I got more to talk about, and I feel like once the match cuts out, I kind of lose my train of thought. Oh, God, no! <laughs> no! 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 Come back in here, Seamus! Oh, no! I'm having an intellectual conversation with my... No! Oh, you bastard! Damn you! I got cocky there. Anyway, so yeah, uh, blah, blah, whatever I was thinking of. What do you guys think? Who should go? Who should go? Who? Not who should go, but who's going? Because they got like El Generico, I think, recently got. Well, I don't. He's not definitively signed, but he's being tested right now. And they got a lot of new hot talent coming up from NXT, so they're taking out some other guys. So who do you think is gonna go? Like JTG or whatever his initials are. You think some divas are gonna be getting the boot? What do you guys think? All right, we're back. We're back. We got another SmackDown match here and another SmackDown tag match. And who that guy? Who's that guy with a fainting hairline? That's sexy, man. Right there is the newest member of the union. Or maybe, maybe heck, he's the leader of the union. I don't even know. He is, uh, oh, God, teaming up with uh, the artist formerly known as Santino. Even though he's in Santino's outfit. Shucks. Didn't change that. Oh, well. And we are taking on the bank members, and I really don't know why Ted DiBiase is still here, but he teamed up. Universe Mode put him with uh, Al Alberto Del Rio, so I guess uh, they're still cool. He just has a problem with JBL. Whatever, maybe Alberto's giving him a chance now. Oh, got him in the corner. Antonio Cesaro, probably the coolest addition. Oh, into the turnbuckle. I want, I want them to react when you throw them into the turnbuckle like that. But yeah, I was probably saying, this is probably the coolest addition from all the DLC guys. Honestly, I think I... I gotta say, I like him the most. Uh, as I said earlier, the, the, the third DLC is probably damn near... Damn near flawless, honestly. Well, I went, uh, okay, I went extreme that. Because I don't like the Lion Salt, and I thought um, Chainsaw Charlie was kind of a waste. But uh, I don't I don't know Brian Pillman per se, but apparently he was a big factor in Attitude Area. I totally understand that. And oh crap, I should have had that one. But aside from that, you know, Antonio Cesaro. We have a uh, 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 Road Scholar guy, the Damian Sandow, and uh, which by the way I made Road Scholars on this. Awesome. And. Uh, Okay, get a uh, stop. Leave me alone. Why all of a sudden are you so good? That's not fair. You will not break me. I close enough for a rope break. Just reach out there. Anywho, but yeah, I really am happy with it. The move pack's pretty sweet. It, whoa, <laughs> that should have at least been a diving headbutt. And uh, so yeah, the move pack was pretty sweet. The uh, overall, I mean. Oh, what's this gonna be? Oh, he's mocking him. He's mocking him. <laughs> yeah, right. Come on, let's go in there. Come on, Boris. I'll let you have some fun. Uh, what was the second move pack? So I, I think this move pack was really good. The second move pack was the the attitude guys. No, yeah, yeah, it was attitude guys. Who was it in it? Remember, I have the memory of a cantaloupe, so I don't really remember very well things. Oh my God, he's just kicking ass and taking names. Yeah, yo. Santino, Not Santino, fool. Goddamn you, Cole. GDYC. Dive again. Oh, fist. He breaks his fist on the mat. Yeah, I, just, I gave him this move, I think. Yeah, obviously, it's Randy Orton's. But, um... Uh. Oh, wait. Speaking of the DLC, I finally been able to give him his, uh, uh, well, his Kimura lock that i seen in his videos of him doing to, like, a bunch of people. So that's awesome. I'm gonna try to whip that guy out in this match. And oh, a ninja kick! 
Oh, popped in my eyes. Golly, G. Whitakers. I'm trying to remember that. Some of the DLC. I just don't. Nah, whatever. But uh, yeah, the DLC 2 was pretty sweet. You got. Oh, yeah, it was like too cool, wasn't it? Kishi. Uh, Gangrel, I think, was on it. Wasn't he? Or did he come? No, he didn't come with the game. That was uh, Gold Dust and DDP. I know DDP came with the game. Well, yeah, Gold Dust is on there somewhere. <laughs> And it was also day one D uh, DLC, so uh, whatever. I think the DLCs all came so freaking fast, one after the other. Feels like after this, people are going to play it for a month and then shelf the game again. Oh, pin! You didn't pin him! But, uh, whoa! There you go. And... What? No! Counter! What? Come on, get him, Cesaro! Get him, Cesaro! Oh, I'm dizzy. Oh, you gonna tag in here? Okay, I'm gonna tag in my guy. Alberto! The new world heavy... Hey! Whoa, what was that? Alright, here we go. I'm gonna do some vicious movage right now. Boom! Oh my goodness gracious! Great balls of fire! That was amazing! That was scary! Oh, I'm so far away. Come here! Hit the neutralizer. One of the smartest moves. Oh, in the game. One. Yeah, not quite. Ah, oh, flying. What's going on now? Oh, he's still fighting. Wait, you're not the legal man. Oh, back of the head. Oh, he got him in the back of the head. Get out of the ring! Who was that? One, two, two, three. Oh, clothesline at the back of the head knocked DiBiase out. Cold! Get the smelling salt. This boy needs to wake up again. That neutralizer is so badass. It's a smart move because you got all the weight coming down on over your knee and shins. is almost no different than holding your own body weight plus whatever the difference is. That's why you can lift up all these fat people and <laughs> like the Funkasaurus and and all of them other guys. Great Kali did that too and everything. That's a smart man. And a smart move. And a shiny head. Look at that head. So shiny. How do you say shiny head in five languages? All right. We have our next match. And uh, I chose to play this one. The universe set it up. I really don't know why they're going Randy Orton, <laughs> Cena, and Sin Cara as if he's anywhere in that hemisphere um, <laughs> of their stardom. Hey, oh! Look and look at that! Look at that! Jericho bought a ticket! What did he buy a ticket for? Fozzie's next show. He just came to show it off. That bastard. Anywho, so I'm going to be Randy Orton. Just maybe I can set up uh, some car to fly and eat my arc. Oh, oh god! But uh, yeah, so I figured I might be dropping superstars and uh, NXT and just doing a uh, Raw and uh, SmackDown. And uh, because you know I'm doing super shows, right? Oh yeah, this is getting up on him. This is getting up on him. And uh, so I figured, why not one for the road? I can always just re restart them anyways if people don't like it. But uh, I figured, why not do a big match? And and this is pretty big because it got Randy Orton and John Cena and <laughs> Sin Cara. Sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> sorry. That's just funny. But um, I don't know how, I don't know if they're big in, the, in my universe mode, Cena and Orton, in terms of stats. I don't know if they're competing for... Oh! Double RKO! You ever thought Cena would do an RKO? <laughs> you ever thought Sin Cara would just walk up? And just get right up from two RKOs? Or a double one, sorry. Oh! Take, eat my groin! Mm, take my punches! Ah. Anyways, so I figured one last hurrah for the superstars. I wonder who, uh... Wow, I am just whooping Sin Cara's butt in these things. Probably why you don't belong. But, uh... But, 
Yeah. Uh, so, I wonder what Jericho, why he can't, where's, where'd Jericho go? See, he did buy, he did buy Fozzie tickets and just left us. What was that? Where did he go? He went, like, he went to a different dimension and then, oh, there's Jericho, I see him now. Wow, he just flew. And DDT onto Sin Cara. A DDT right onto Sin Cara's prone body. As has seen argue with the king. Oh, Michael Cole, you so silly. Oh, boom! Oh, no, I just missed it. I just missed it. You're lucky. Okay, hey, guys, let's, I got an idea. Let's all go. Wow, you are super duper bad at this. Let's all go say hi to, um, ah, crud, to Jericho. Come on. Come on, guys. Everybody come in there. Wee, uh, no. Oh, shucks. Okay, no, don't go on the, thank you. Let's all go say, oh, I'm tired. Here we go. It is about me, huh? What do you want? You want a piece of me? Your band's great. Oh, you can't take a compliment. I'm a Fozzie fan, and he just punched me. That man has a rock star's ego, and I do not like it. I don't like you, Jericho, anymore. <laughs> you broke my heart. <laughs> I used to be a number one fan. Now I'll go as far to say I'm number two. No, I'm joking. Um, actually, I am a fan of Fozzie. Anybody else out there, Fozzie fans? Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> Randy Orton. He was just like, what the heck was that? Let's see a red skittle just fly across the corner of my eye. But, uh, yeah, anybody else a Fozzie fan? Um, I, 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 I've listened, I've been listening to them for a while. And I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I'm a hard rock metal guy. Wow, I don't see him do that move ever. But, uh, eh. Yeah, I'm a big fan. It's kind of a throwback and a, a nod to 80s metal, so I guess if you're a little bit young in the young demographic. To me, 80s is always like just 20 years away. Or 20 years ago. So 20 years away. Yes, this is 1960. We are. <laughs> Anyways, I can't even joke about that. It's so stupid. Like I said. But, um. So, yeah, to me, the 80s has always been 20 years ago at most. Not 30 years ago. What is he doing? What are you doing? When have you done that? Why have you done that move before? Actually, I take that back. I take that back. I'm gonna put you through there. The barricade. You go after. Do me a favor. Go after Jericho for me. I open the door for you. We'll fight. Me and Cena will fight it out. You go say I, I want to talk to him. But yeah, it's a throwback, Fozzie. At least that's the feel I get. Cause very. Yeah. You know. Hair metal. I can't do that. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna try. I got. I got more commentary to do. I'm not going to ruin my voice with a, a bad attempt at a hair metal spoon. We had a lot to talk about today. Wow. Today was a... Oh, oops. Whatever. Today was a, a show with a lot of a lot of talky talky. Oh, splash. I got them both. I wonder if you can grapple them. What does that do? Here. Let's do this again, guys. Let's do this one more time. Nope. Unless you guys... Unless you do it to me, that's not what I meant. Oh. What am I doing? Stop a mud hole! Uh, not quite. Yeah, a lot, a lot of productive talking. Which is what... Ah, crud. Alright, you gonna do something? Ah, that's what I did. You copycat. Cena's a copycat. Cena sucks. Ah, uh, what are you doing? A uh, Batista bite? You copycat. Skittle, come here! God. And, uh, yeah, I cut out a lot of entrances to save time. Uh, I cut out some cars only because he botched it. <laughs> Joking. But I also cut out a lot of the, the jibba-jabba in menu screen. I just went straight into the into the battle, the meat of the thing. So you might see, like, one or two matches and no menu screen, so I don't even go over what... Ha uh, you got it. Yeah, kick it. So hopefully this will be more action, less talk and uh, less menu screens and okay, come here okay now now we can do this okay we can do this again uh, can I do anything yes I can 
Ah, boom! Nice. Way to go, guys. Way to go. We did this together as a team. The three of us. Well, man, me and, me and Cena, Sincaro, you suck. Sorry, you're not part of the team. You're not a team player. As John Cena and I just bump heads. You don't do that move! Last person I saw do that move, aside from it being a chick, was, uh... Oh! Was, uh, the, the Zach Goen. One, one-legged man. Oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, drops him. So that's his signature. Huh. I don't play with Randy Orton that often. <laughs> Can you tell? Alright. Come on, wake up. Wake up. I know, this is the one that... Oh, wow. I was gonna say, that... The method of putting up on the top rope is, like works 80% of the time. Ugh, drop kick to the back. The method of uh, throwing him... Whoa, what am I doing? The method of throwing him over the apron and having him springboard, springboard back in works, I think, 100% of the time? Maybe 90% of the time? We'll see. Let's see what happens. Okay. You stand there, be dizzy. Stand there, be dizzy. That was not... Wow, that was a fail. That was a fail. If I ever saw one. Alright, come here. No. Ah, uh, whatever. One, two... Uh, ooh, that's not good. Oh, I don't know where I Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah, close line. Did I ever finish my train of thought saying how wow we talked a lot in this episode? <laughs> the lots happened in this match by itself. Come on, come on, come on, come on, what you got? Oh yeah! That was glitchy, but it works. It worked nonetheless. What? He's trying to steal my fit. You do not try to steal. No. No. What is that? A picture of a hamburger out back there? Oh, it's a snake. It's a snake. It's a viper. That was a hamburger. Woo! I was trying to counter. I was getting cocky. I'll admit that. Oh my goodness gracious. These guys are not trying to kick out. They're like, we're done with this match too, man. <laughs> you can have it. Whoa, oh, booyah! Got him. And one for you. And uh, because it's Sin Cara. <laughs> Sorry, man. I love you, Skittles. Booyah! Oh, come back. Why not? Oh goodness! Get up! I come back. I came back too early. There's a signature. No. No, I came back way too early. What is going on? No, I lost it. Damn you, Kara! Damn you, Sin Kara! I lost it and all my freaking finishers that I had stored up, you bastards! I'm done. Let's just end this. It's over. Three. I'm Schnikes. This was a very talkative universe mode. If you like it, please leave a thumbs up, a like. Please leave a comment. And actually, you know what? Why not? Ask me some questions. Let's have more of a conversation. Um, I know I don't have... Uh, I, 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 I kind of set up the schedule... I don't have a lot of time to record, so I set up my schedule so I play on weekends. So if you ask me a question for on this one, I probably won't get it on the next episode. I'm going to record the next episode the same day. <laughs> Sorry, it's how it works. And uh, But yeah, ask me a question if you want to like see what I'm thinking about certain things. And uh, we can go from there. Uh, yeah, you get, you get to see what's in my brain about all kinds of topics. You know? Ask me whatever you want. What, what, what do I think about, you know, who, who do you want Undertaker to face? Who, what do you, what about uh, the Royal Rumble? Who do you want to win the Royal Rumble? These are all kinds of things I, I can answer. I probably, probably might answer that next question, next uh, universe mode, but who knows? Ask me anything you want. Anyways, till then, I'm Shanikes, my universe mode. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm Schnackies. I'm out. Thank you.